That's what it sounded like. What is the best prank or practical joke that you've ever seen played on anybody? It could be something that you played on someone else or somebody played on somebody you know or, you know, maybe somebody played it on you. Let me know in the comments because we're going to talk today about a few of those. You know, back, you know, in my early career working in, you know, the, the trades, you know, like a low voltage electrician type stuff, there were always people playing pranks on you. Whether it was taking a big old zip tie and putting it on, you know, the drive shaft of your truck so that when you're going around and go tick, 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 that's an annoying one. Um, or you get like never sees and you put it on somebody's uh, gas cap or, you know, uh, the best one I think ever happened to me, somebody took some duct tape and they made a big square of duct tape, probably 18 inch square of duct tape. And they stuck it on the tire on the front tire of my truck. And then they wrapped it back around the back of it, back of the tire. So that it was just basically covering the tread and the inner sidewall. That's it. Um, they, they put it on there and then I drove away I got up to highway speeds and I thought I blew a front tire out because it was like that's what it sounded like. Um, it scared me. Pulled over on the side of the road, looked at my tires, nothing, nothing to see there, whatever. Got back in the truck because I didn't see anything. Started driving down the road. And that's when that's when like it started again. So I pull over and that time I found the duct tape. So that was a good prank that got pulled on me. But I remember when I was in high school, though, uh, me and my dad, we were driving down the road and we saw one of our friends. Uh, it, everybody called him either hillbilly or hippie. That was it. I don't even remember his real name. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I I don't remember what it was because everybody my side, you know, everybody that I knew called him hillbilly but some people called him hippie uh, they called him hillbilly because he had a raccoon for a pet he had most of his teeth missing and he lived in like the hills of pennsylvania in a very like rural area and he was he was very backwoods we always joked that he probably belonged more in west virginia than he did pennsylvania because uh, i grew up in maryland and west virginia is the state that we rag on when we want to call somebody a hillbilly there i found out that like everybody has i think florida has alabama i don't know who alabama has uh nebraska has iowa it i think everybody's got their like hillbilly state or their meth state or whatever it is right and then sometimes they'd call him hi hippie some people call him hippie uh, and I think that's for probably obvious reasons. And I think as we go in the story, we'll probably figure out that together. So we, me and my dad is driving through his town and it's a pretty steep like drive into the town. And his house is right there on the right side as you're driving in, into the town, coming down the first hill into the town. And their houses are real close together. But the porches, since it's so steep, you might have a four foot difference between your porch and your neighbor's porch. They're just like steps all the way up the hill. You know, houses all built kind of like connected to each other, but on a hill. Neat little town. Anyway, so we're driving into town and we look over like as we're driving in and he's like Hillbilly's house is up there on, on the side. And there's somebody on his roof. So we're like looking like, huh, somebody's up on his roof. And next thing you know, we see this person recognize that it's us and starts waving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And we pull over. What's going on, Hillbilly? He's like, man, you got a ladder or something? Like, what? He's like, you got a ladder? Like, what do you need? Like, are you stuck up there? He's like, yeah. Like, How'd you get up there? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> The way he said that sticks with me in my mind to this day. I don't know. <laughs> so this is like, I think this is a Sunday morning, maybe. And uh, apparently he had a party at his place the night before. And somehow he woke up on the roof. Has no idea how he woke up on the roof. Nobody in his house, no ladders. The one ladder that he did have that was out in his garage was gone. So... We found out later that like a couple of his buddies, you know, went up on the roof, got him up on the roof, and then he blacked out and just stayed there. And they left him overnight. That's uh, that's a pretty, pretty crazy practical joke. That's a, that's probably the furthest I've seen anybody go. Uh, I, I did see a guy that you know he got the never sees on his door handles of his truck, and you know we we all laughed a little, but he didn't 
he didn't take it very well so he was all mad so he went back to somebody else and he took like a huge glob of never sees and put it up under all the door handles the tailgate handle the gas cap and then the passenger side seat belt and the passenger side seat belt uh, became kind of a problem because the guy uh, put his kid in the car and then his kid had this stuff all over so the guy came in like bitching and complaining because he had this never sees on his car or on, his, on his kid and then the uh, the boss is like you're not allowed to drive your kids around what was your kid doing in the truck so it ended up backfiring on him to report that but uh, they ended up basically coming through yeah, after that and they're like look no more practical jokes no more pranks not doing it and we we didn't do it for years after that but then i worked in another place and man they just kept escalating it was like one day you come in somebody's lunch box is zip tied to the rafters you know 20 feet up uh or something like that or somebody's jacket was you know i don't know same thing tied to the rafters we did a lot of stuff with the rafters there but then one guy decided to go a little too far one day he uh he took the valve cores out of somebody's car in their tires so he had four, four flat tires on their car and he walked in and he he had his valve cores in his hand and he just walks over to the guys like here you go and drops them in his hand <laughs> and uh then left for the day and then i find out about this and man i flip out on this guy I went crazy on him yelling screaming at him for you know doing this to somebody because what really irritated me is he took the core tool with him i had to go to menards and buy a new core tool because this sucker took it with him anyway practical jokes can be fun but don't do them unless you're willing to uh, get the recourse of it because when you do it to somebody more than likely they're going to do it back to you but that's what I got for tonight, y'all. It's a little longer than normal. It's not what she said, though. Anyway, that's all I got. Be good. Catch you later.